हाउ डू वी डिफाइन एंटी और न्यूक्ल ट्रांसलूसेंसी न्यूक्ल ट्रांसलूसेंसी इज द सोनोग्राफिक अपियरेंस ऑफ फ्लूड अंडर द स्किन बिहाइंड द नेक ऑफ द फिटर्स सीन इन द फर्स्ट ट्राइमेस्टर ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी हाउ इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट इन द नॉर्मल दैट इज यूप्लॉइड फिटर्स इज the median nt is 2.0 mm whereas in aneuploidies it may be 2 to 4 times this value and therefore abnormal nt value raise the alarm and we should be on our alert evolution in 156 years back sir j l down noticed or observed that down syndrome individuals have abnormally thick skin it was only 30 years back when professor kypros nikolaides demonstrated this finding on ultrasonography and he said that there is abnormal or excessive fluid collection behind the neck of the fetus noticed that can be noticed in 11 to 14 weeks of pregnancy friends this was the game changer first and foremost to screen for the aneuploidies that is trisomy 21 18 and 13 down syndrome adult syndrome patau syndrome friends many of these abort few have intrauterine fetal death and land up with stillbirth few are born alive trisomy 18 and 13 cannot survive more than few hours or few days after birth it is trisomy 21 that can survive for years but they have mental retardation health issues and they put lot of financial burden to the parents and to the society number 2 to screen for the likelihood of development of preeclampsia later on in the pregnancy number 3 to screen for the likelihood of development of fetal growth restriction number 4 for early assessment of the length of the cervix by transvaginal scan number 5 10 out of 100 congenital anom structural anomalies may be detected by this 11 to 14 weeks of scan and remember these are the conditions which are the major contributors to complications in pregnant women and newborn what if your fetus has increased nt value or the nasal bone is not visualized it means there is greater risk of trisomy aneuploidy structural defect and cardiac defect in the fetus so we recommend definitive diagnostic invasive test is which is indicated to uh, when there is nt is more than 3 mm what if your fetus is having nt below 3 m mm that is normal value now nt scan has the detection rate of trisomy 21 to the tune of 80% so to increase the detection rate in such cases we recommend a combined test that is at double marker test so the detection rate goes up to 90% and further to increase the detection rate or sensitivity we add few more sonography parameters like nasal bone ductus venosus tricuspid regurgitation all together the detection rate increases to how is the first assessment of the length of cervix useful it acts as a baseline for comparison for the cervical length in future sonography scan and take the decision accordingly what if you have detected to have structural anomaly in the fetus 10 out of 100 structural anomalies can be detected in this scan and your healthcare provider will help you and to decide about the prognosis and help in the decision making friends as far as structural anomalies are concerned 10 out of 100 anomalies are detectable at 11 to 14 weeks of pregnancy I will give you two examples. One is anencephaly, where the forebrain is absent. 
and second is ocrania where the fetal skull is absent so the counseling becomes easier because these two are uniformly lethal the fetus cannot survive after birth and the, therefore the decision may be making may be easier for the couple but for other anomalies we have to counsel the patient that these may be associated with chromosomal abnormalities in the fetus and therefore we have to offer them a invasive test we discuss about the prognosis of this condition quality of life level of disability need for surgery and the possible outcome and we help the patient in a non directive manner and help them in the decision making process follow up after the diagnostic test confirms aneuploidy we discuss about the prognosis and help the couple in proper informed decision making process if the increase if the nt value is increased but the invasive test shows the karyotype is normal now what friends remember incidence of structural defect in this group is higher so even though the chromosomes are normal we have to look for the structural abnormalities repeat scan at 15 weeks and again anomaly scan is 18 to 22 weeks and also because the cardiac defect incidence is higher this a pregnant woman is subjected to fetal 2d echocardiography at 22 to 24 weeks of gestation